Okay, I'm going to give you the basics on how to read wiring diagrams. I have seen some videos on YouTube on how to read wiring diagrams, but there is a lot of information left out. I will show you a wiring schematic of a project truck that I'm working on now. It's a 98 Tahoe, and I will be discussing the heater control circuit. That is this. Okay? And that's the mess we have on the back. Now the guy originally that had this busted this off here, so that's why I have this lovely display now. Okay, let's begin. Alright, on this, you can see on this, this will be the, uh, the heater control. And you'll see that it has three connections, okay? How will you know? It'll say C1 for connection 1. C2 for connection 2, C3 for connection 3. So that's how you know they're divided. Wiring diagram or schematic is essentially a map from one location to another, and the lines are the roadways. The lines are really wires, and with most maps, there is a legend. Legend looks like this. Now, what they don't have on this legend is what the ground looks like. I have to hand draw that for you. The ground will look somewhat like this. An example on here. will be tells you right here front motor door and it actually on this schematic it tells you exactly where it's at on the AC heating housing or heater housing okay and these will be your colors white black brown black brown and light blue they're pretty much basic. Here's a the uh, wiring diagram variations. Yeah, black BLK or BK, blue BLU or BU, etc. etc. Here, I'll put this in the screen. You can pause it, go over it if you like. Okay, so to replace the connector. Okay, so I cut all these wires and figure out where all they went, where they all went inside the connector. So, where do we find this connector? Well, we knew this connector was the fan blower uh, switch. So, go on here. And I'll tell you right here. Okay, on this, you can see it has three connections C1 for connection one, C2 for connection two, and C3 for connection th three, third connection. Okay, and all those commas, they look like commas, those are your connection, your connector. Okay? And like I said, these are your wires. The rooting of the wires and show you where they go. Not only that, they have lettering too. G H A I can read that. B and C. Okay. Now what a lot of people didn't tell you or show you on those other videos is most of the time your connector will have a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, or it'll be numbered. Sometimes the numbers are here. Not on this one, it won't be. And they could be here. But anyway, you have to look. And a lot, and sometimes they don't have none at all. Okay? So, we're going to look for letter H, which is going to be orange. 
So right here, let's focus in on that. You see that letter H. It's right here, which is orange. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. We'll say A is gonna be light blue. So we'll find A. Right there, it is light blue. Okay, that's uh. That's pretty the ba pretty much the basics. But like I said, it could be, get pretty tricky. Get the back of this here uh, control circuit. And you have one, two, three switches. So each one of these are different connections. That's one connection there. That's one connection there. And that's one connection there. The longer you do it, the more you become familiar with it. It's it's going to be really tricky at first, trust me. Okay. Let me give you some other basics. Like um right here is a uh, that is considered a fuse. Usually it'll say fuse in there, so be pretty good on that. Trying to find a connector. Oh, right here. You come down here, you'll see a little dot in the middle and four lines. That means that's spliced right there. So that's all connected. Alright, if there's a connector in between a uh, circuit, you'll see something like this. Okay. 